Ooh, hello there my fellow miners and crafters good times with Scar here and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting and we're rowing our boat right on into Pirate Bay here outside of our treasure cave. But before we head on inside, which I've got some surprises in there I'm excited to show you guys, I have to stop and thank you for the 350,000 subscribers. That is incredibly, incredibly awesome of you guys to join the Starship Good Times and uh, go on a journey with all the fun things we do here on the channel with the mining and the crafting and all sorts of other things. So thank you from the bottom of my scarred heart for the support on this series. And if you're liking it still, hit that like button and let's get going with our episode today. And inside the cave here, we've got some enhancements. So of course on stream, you know, we, we added some details in here. We got the kelp, we got the seagrass. I did move the uh, bubble blocks to the side so they don't throw me up into the ceiling anymore. I'd love to get some tropical fish going in this area. Um, but I really, really like that. But look at this interior now. It is slowly forming into, you know, our little tucked away cove here. Eventually, we're going to have a much, much bigger and more grand base. But uh, I like it. It's so cozy. Right now, there's a lot of, like, stresses in my life. And coming in here, it's like, it's just like I escape into my little cave here. And I enjoy it so much. Got the little bubbles over there. We've got some armor from the Ambies. We didn't lose... The stuff that at least we put in the end chest in our last episode, which we're going to get to in a minute. We've got our clock over there. Of course, we've got our hammock. And on this side, just for fun, I put item frames horizontal and put a piece of gold in it. Like these are buckets of gold brimming. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. Where's my books? I think my books are over here. So these are some of the books that I was able to fish yesterday that I didn't lose. And some from the end. Also got a slime ball, which I'm quite happy about. That model is actually really nice. I like that. Anyway, moving on over here. Some remnants from the fishing and things along those lines. But yesterday's fishing expedition was quite a disaster, wasn't it? Oh, man. I... I don't know how I died and lost all the elytras and all that stuff. I think there's some kind of glitch within the game. It's all I can figure out. Like, if it's my fault, I'm like going to own up to it. But I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> ah, it's so sad. Anyway, so we got all this stuff here. It looks pretty good, by the way. Shooting back into F5 here real quick. I did go to Hermit Will and was able to get up some hand -me down armor pieces. So I, th I think I'm actually pretty stylish. You know, we got the turquoise chest piece. We got the purple boots. We're looking super fancy. But today's episode, we're starting a new project. And I am just absolutely, in whoa, what in the world? Must have hit a bubble there. I am incredibly excited about this because this is going to be Spire Rock. And hopefully you guys can come up with a more original name. But that's all I got for now is Spire Rock. So out in the distance there, let's let's climb aboard uh, the boat here. Hello, uh, Scarf. How are you today? Out here, we are going to create a giant spire sticking up into the sky. And on that is going to be a pirate ship like it's washed up onto it. And then within it is our enchanter. So it's like this magical enchanter. And then down below, this is where things are going to get interesting. We're going to build this hopefully right above a skeleton and or zombie spawner. There's two of them down here. We're going to need to find them. It's a bit of a mystery, but they're down here in the ocean here, way down in one of these little crevasses down here. So we're going to get that. It's going to be amazing. And I think this is going to be a really fun project, especially seeing a pipe up. Oh. oh, my gosh, that scars butt from the stream again. Anyway, so I think that's going to be like a super, super, super fun uh, project. Look at me swim. I can never get over how fun the swimming is, but let's climb aboard. Oh, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm drowning. Quick, Scarf, grab grab a hold. Thank you, Scarf. You saved my life, and I appreciate that. Good dog back there. It's always important to have a good dog, but what's better than a good dog is a good cat, and I don't have any cats yet, and it's quite a tragedy. We have to fix that eventually. We're going to maybe do that on stream this weekend, so definitely make sure you're following me on Twitch. So let me get some supplies here so we can start digging down underground and finding those spawners, and then we're going to dig a hole straight on up and start planning out the spire. All geared up and ready to go, let's board the Jolly Dog and head out for open seas. And there's, of course, Black Sands Island. And thank you guys so much for the suggestions for Black Sands Island. We're going to definitely, definitely make those dead palm trees. You guys gave me some incredible ideas for that. We just need to find some coral first. That's right. We're going to be using coral to make dead leaves and the little fins that'll go around the coast there. Another great suggestion was to break up the very smooth nature of the concrete was to use coal blocks. Now, I thought that was a really, really great idea. 
We just need coal. <laughs> we just need to get some coal. And eventually we're going to greatly expand this island in the future and really create a beautiful spire up in the air with the portal being up there with rope bridges connecting back over to the island. And uh, I think that's going to be really fantastic. But we need more resources eventually to get to that. But we're going to head out to Open Waters and talk about a project today, which of course is Spire Rock. And not a very creative name. Maybe you guys could help me with that. But Spire Rock is going to be in this general direction here. It's going to stick way up into the sky and have a pirate ship attached to it like it's been impaled by it. And maybe a storm had thrown it up there. Maybe magical properties had thrown it up there because it is transporting after all. The Enchanter, because each one of our little fun things like in Minecraft, you got to get a portal, you got to get an Enchanter, but let's take it to the next level. Let's make some cool builds around these things. And I think this is the perfect build for the Enchanter. Maybe it was even transporting the books of knowledge to Joe Hills's build. You could even tie it into the other hermits. That might be pretty cool. I just came up with that at the top of my head. Uh, but anyway, heading down under seas here, there is a spawner and I think there's a skeleton and a zombie in this area. Now we're going to try to find these spawners and then take a, a rod or a little like pillar and go straight up to help measure our area because we're going to try to make a very basic XP farm eventually attached to the pirate ship from below in the spire. So I think that's going to be really fun, right? To have the XP farm and the enchanter there, that's going to be amazing. I'm very excited about that. And these spires, I hope to all connect eventually, to have little bridges connecting them. And like I said, having that thing way up in the air and you fly through your elytra. <laughs> oh, the elytra. It gives me shivers and sadness to this moment. But that's okay. We're going we're gonna to avenge it this week on Twitch. It's going to be... It's going to be great. We're going to go in there. We're going to kill another dragon on Twitch. So make sure you're following me on Twitter and on Twitch to be notified when I go live to avenge my death. But yeah, we're going to head underground now and try to find either that skeleton or the zombie. I know they're both under here somewhere. And uh, first one we find will be the one deep underground here trying to find it. It's in one of these tunnels. And a strange thing about this area is there is one of the lowest mine shafts I have ever seen in Minecraft. Like it's pretty much down at bedrock and I've never seen that before, but it's this direction, but there is a cave that will take us in that area. I just gotta find the right branch to it. It might be over here. Oh, this, this, this feels like we're on the scent. I wish we had scarf with us. He could sniff it out. He can smell treasure at a hundred miles distance. Yeah. That is definitely not the way. Okay, well, this will be a while. Okay, <laughs> thought that was like a little corner over there. This is hopefully not going to end in tragedy. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to continue to look around and uh, hopefully we can find this thing fairly quickly. Oh, hey, guys, I'm just in the corner here uh, writing out my last will and testament because um, I did find the zombie uh, um, spawner. But it's uh, incredibly scary. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, he got through. He got through. He got through. Oh, no, 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 buddy. No, 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 no. Not the death. Not the death. Oh, the death hurts so bad inside. I am not going to let this death go unpunished. I have got geared back up. I got the coordinates. We're rowing back into the site here. I think it's right here. And I'm doing an Azuma trick that I learned from his stream. He had doors, right? underwater and oh here it is here it is this is where i went from the sea down because i finally found out where the spawner is and what azuma did was he puts this door down and you get air look at this look at the air it's amazing look at that you learn so much from azuma okay here we go we should be able to make this all we need to do is just slide down in here right just slide on down i'm gonna i'm gonna kink that up there i'm gonna add just a little bit of light because it's super spooky <laughs> uh, maybe just a little bit of a little bit of a scaredy cat and we're gonna go down Okay, I got my XP back. I'm gonna block. Oh, they got my stuff. They got my stuff. No, no, that's cruel. That's cruel. You can't take a man's things, especially a pirate. Take two. Rearm back up. Let's go back down. Most likely our stuff is gone, but I mean, if I could just avenge myself. All right, let's go get some Azuma air. I'm calling this the Azuma air. And we're gonna sneak back down here. Oh my gosh, I think they're wearing my armor. If they had maybe my pickaxe, like I'd be kind of down for that. Like if I can get that back, I'd actually be pretty happy. Oh, look at them. Look at them. Look at them. How come they're not dying? Am I in water? Yeah, I'm definitely in water right now. Oh, I'm going to get you, bro. Oh, I'm going to get you. Oh, you come back here. Why do you have flowers? Oh, those are carrots. I thought those were flowers. 
Okay, I'm gonna see. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. No, no, you will not, not take this from me. Ha <laughs> ha, we got him. Yes, we're back. Better than ever. Okay, so now that we got that back, I'm gonna throw my will away because I'm not gonna give anybody my treasure in my cave. Mm -mm. Pirate never gives it away. He buries it even when he dies so nobody can find it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna see if I can get this water out of here, start lighting this place up. That's what I intended the first time. It's just, there's always, there's always problems. <laughs> Okay, let's let's get this place set up. He's got my meat too. He's got all my meat and there's my armor <laughs> Where's my good armor like I had diamond chest plate. Oh, he's got it too. Oh, no, no welcome to the party pal Yeah, go over there. Enjoy yourself. Ooh, no, there's not getting any treasure in there There better be good treasure for all my effort here. There's the treasure. Okay, perfect. Okay now I'm gonna clean this place up. All right We've got this area pretty well sealed off and lit up now so what I'd need to do is just know where the center of the spawner is. So we're just going to build a little pillar going straight up. Now, if you have any spawner tips or tricks, please put them in the comments. I never built one of these before, surprisingly. And uh, I like to get a little leg up. I've asked Cub for a couple bits of help, and he's helped a ton with like water streams that take you upwards. So we have options with you know, some of the new things with 1.13 and just your general standard Minecraft water stream. So he helped me with that. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any other tips, please let me know because I haven't made one of these and uh, any assistance would be much appreciated. So we're going to send a little pillar straight on up. Welcome to the surface here. And I think this is a really good spot for the spire because it's got a good distance from the Black Sands Island. Now, I think the skeleton's actually right here or there. And I'm glad we didn't choose that one because it's way too close to the island there. I'm much happier with this location. So what we need to do is make some really basic um, circles. <laughs> So that's pretty much just going outwards in all directions and that looks like it's it for my dirt So I'm gonna go get some more of that We we'll just kind of figure out how wide the bases is gonna go and how tall it's going to be So I got to figure that out, but we're making some good progress soon. We're gonna have a pirate ship guys This is our first ship. It's gonna be amazing and there we are We've got ourselves a little bit of a perimeter built out now Like I always say it's good to lay out your structures before you build them with dirt so you can make the changes that you need to before you start laying down those permanent blocks. So I think this is looking pretty good. So it's directly on top of that. I'm still trying to figure out how I can get the zombies up here. I would like to use some of the 1.13 blocks, but I think there might be a limit to the height that the bubbles will travel. So I think that might be a thing. We'll have to figure that out. But I believe that is a good height for the spire. So the ship will be kind of like across this piece right here. And like I said, this is just like a temporary structure just to kind of start putting our mind in the right way of seeing how it will all be laid out. So I think this is good. So the first thing we need to do is make kind of a structure on the bottom area. And of course, these aren't gonna be the black sands of the Cursed Island. These will be just your standard sands across here. So it'll have a sand base, really rocky, and then it'll transition right up into the spire going up. So I think that'll be pretty cool. So we'll start down here by just building ourselves a little starter island. Welcome back to the cave and we came down for some material and I've also crafted our first two shulker boxes So we've got these things filled up with our terraform materials to create our island and I created a couple other things first thing We've got a little juice in the machine here so we can start making some milkshakes and then just around the corner here We finally got ourselves an ender chest, which I'm super super happy about and I've been thinking about shops for the season here and I've come up with quite a few different ones and for a variety of reasons those aren't going to work but I've settled on two different ones one would be the crusty crab oh my gosh scarf someday scarf I believe in you you are going to be rowing that boat yourself and it's going to be amazing don't tell him but he doesn't have opposable thumbs nor is he going to get him he's not going to be able to do it <laughs> <laughs> oh scarf you're going to be sailing the seven seas it's going to be amazing but anyway when it comes to shops I think I'm going to go with Scar's disorganizational shop and it's going to be a gigantic shulker with the head kind of up and then the the little chest kind of askew and then on top of that's like three more chests like just complete disorganization and we shall we shall we sell shulker boxes and it's going to be amazing like I think it's going to be really fun um if you have better ideas let me know in the comments like Shop ideas, I'd like to know from you guys. And like I mentioned before, the Krusty Krab was an idea too. And uh, we would sell, <laughs> we would sell uh, beef, right? We'd sell beef and we would sell wheat or we'd sell bread, right? 
And there will be a little sign at the cashier saying, uh, we lost our cook and chef or something. I had this funny little quote. How was it? It was, oh, I think they drew, they dried out. Yeah, sorry, our cashier and cook have dried out. So do it yourself here at the Krusty Krab. Maybe we could call it the Krusty Scar. <laughs> I don't know. We could have fun with it. Um, we'll come up with something. Scarf Disorganizational Shop, the Krusty Krab. Anything along those lines, I think, is at least a start of an idea. But if you guys have a better idea, you know how to let me know. So what we're doing here is we are terraforming the island, creating an island out of nothing. I think the cobblestone represents a good layout for the structure of the island. So I think that is going to look pretty nice. And I love creating islands out of nothing. This is quite a bit of fun, actually. Um, it's surprising, right? It's like you just made an island and it's like, Oh, that's neat. That's different. But anyway, so I think this is going to look really good once we're, we've got it going a little further. Now, as for the main area, I've changed the design a little bit, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. But let me lay down all this sand, and I'll be right back. The sandy shores of our island are now complete. Now you'll notice that down below the island, it looks a little weird with it floating. We're going to fix that, don't worry about that. We've got some half slabs up here, some stairs, so that kind of smooths out the transition of the island a little bit. And now we have the interior here. So this is where we're going to start now. We're gonna start clearing our inventory of that and moving on to the stone. And we're gonna start running our stone straight up into the air and creating our little spire idea. So I think that's gonna, yeah, I think there's gonna be definitely enough room in here for an enchanter. I'd like to do an enchanter sometime that uh, I built a long time ago, but it's actually mechanical or redstone related and you can push a lever and it moves bookcases around and stuff like that. And I made that, like I, I did that thing with redstone, surprisingly, I know. I know, you're shaking your head. I see you, I see you, but I really did. And uh, I've been super proud of it. I was always gonna build in my survival world, but just never got the chance to, mainly because the roller coaster I built in that world took over a year. So I never quite got to it. And then Hermitcraft came and I just never built this like mega enchanting thing that I had planned. Um, but look at how cool this is going to be. So what I've been trying to do, because look at me, look at me, I'm still using iron tools. <laughs> um, I'm trying to save some material. So anywhere like this, I'm gonna slide in there, remove that bits of sand and come down here, add that little piece. By doing that, you're adding a little bit more place for the rock to really feel like it's part of the island and the sand is really just on top of the rock because the rock is the structure and the sand is like, it's like it's hair. So I think that's looking pretty good. Um, so we're just gonna start running this design all the way around. Now, the tricky part of this whole thing is gonna definitely be the boat. I've never been the greatest at making boats. I mean, look at how beautiful that boat is. Got a lot of competition. Well, this one's gonna be broken, which is actually one of my favorite things to do in Minecraft is sometimes just making things that are broken. It's actually really fun, therapeutic. <laughs> now I've fallen in a super hole. This is a bit of a problem. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm going to continue to work on this and plan out exactly how the Enchanter is going to go. And of course, our giant little shipwreck that uh, covers half this island. Spire Rock is definitely coming along. Now, there are some little things we still need to work on. The lower section, so it doesn't look like it's floating, but I don't have the smooth stone to do that yet. I think it's a good level of detail. One thing I was trying to do was keep the sections that go like straight up a little bit smoother and then more crumble rock down at the bottom. So I was looking at Devil's Tower, which is in Wyoming, and that structure has like all the crumble rock on the bottom and then a really smooth kind of piece that goes straight up. And I thought that's kind of where I was trying to take the general thought of the design to. So I think that's coming out. One thing I would have loved to have done is get some green grass built around these edges. But unfortunately, we don't have those kind of tools. I mean, this thing was just built with iron. Um, so that's kind of sad. I'd love to get some green grass growing in here and then get some palm trees. We still might do the palm trees, but I don't have the uh, resources yet for that. Sorry about the, the dirt there. <laughs> Life's very difficult without an elytra, but anyway, I think that's coming out. Uh, one thing I really want to do is head out to the coral reef and get some dead things to put on our island over there. I want to get some dead coral and put over there. I think it'll be really nice when we get that done. Um, unfortunately, I probably won't get to the sunken ship today because I just spent like four hours at the hospital because I had a broken tube and now I'm getting home and I'm starting to get a migraine. So I'm trying to get like as much as video done before that sets in. Um, I'm trying to do everything I can to prevent it, but just in case, I'm trying to get as much done in this video because I want to get this out to you guys. Like you guys have been asking, it's like, oh, where's the videos? And I'm like, I'm trying over here. Um, but yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. Let's get some supplies, head out to the coral reef because 
I really want to put some dead trees on that island over there. I've been looking forward to that all day. When I'm at the hospital, I'm like, dead trees. That's all I can think about right now. I'm a weird guy. I know. It's it's fine. Sailing by Iskold Island over there, and I cannot wait to see what him and Stress come up with. I bet they're going to make that place absolutely amazing. Those spires that stick up in the air with the ice and the snow are absolutely... Oh, jeez! <laughs> we got a Titanic issue here, Scarf. <laughs> the jolly dog is going down into the iceberg. But anyway, they're going to come up with some really amazing stuff over there. We found some beautiful terrain out here with the savannas, and I mentioned in a prior episode is I've never built enough in a savanna. We gotta build something someday here in a savanna. If you have any savanna ideas, let me know. Maybe a zoo? I don't know. Something cool like with animals would be really fun, and it's just a great place because it's so flat and the hills are so unique in the area. When I looked at that, I, all I could think about is like a saying my dad would say, it would be, Scar, we're in God's country now. I don't know why that came into my mind, but anyway, continuing on our journey, still no coral reefs in sight, it looks like we just hit a bay. Oh, this is a glorious sight. I have never seen a coral biome in Minecraft yet. This is truly like a first for me. That's why I just like, I had to head out here and see this because, wow, this is actually really beautiful to find here in the game. And I love these like specialty biomes. This is fantastic. Okay, we got to submerge ourselves and see what this place looks like. Look at the sea pickles. Oh my gosh. I'm here to destroy you all because I don't have a silk touch. But that's okay because you're going to be all put to good use. This is the one that I'm here for, the pink one. You see these like giant little spaces right there? That is going to be a perfect... Oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh no, 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 no. There we go. Get some air there, Scar. But that's going to be a perfect palm leaf. Oh, that is... That's fantastic. And those sea pickles are like the most delightful things ever. So let's see how this works. All right. Sadly, it's dead now. Sadly, it's dead, but that's okay. Because like I said, it's going to go to a good use. We're probably only going to be able to make like one or two because I don't want to just take, just getting some air here. Just getting some air. Um, I don't want to take like a whole bunch for dead palm trees, right? We don't want to take a ton, but you know, I think enough for at least two would be perfect. And then some of these little fins here for the sides of the trees. And of course on the ground, I think are going to be really cool. So this is going to be a bit tedious in terms of getting one of these and then heading back up for air. We need to get a turtle head. We need to get a turtle hat. That's going to be uh, priority one in a little bit here, but uh, yeah, I'm going to get some of this and uh, yeah. Oh man, this is exciting. So, Whew. All right, we're going to breathe well and we're going to get as much as we can without dying. All the little tropical fish here are super cool. These look like little cows. <laughs> These are little cowfish. Hello, little cowfish. I like you. One thing I've noticed is you need silk touch to get the fins. Oh, Sansa, forget you got to breathe fully. Got to get your bubbles all the way up. See, got to get those things all the way up. I forget that. But anyway, I'm trying to get some of the pink ones that don't have any of these fins attached to it because if I break them, that's it. You know, that we can't get any of those back. So that's why I'm trying to find all the pink blocks that don't have any uh, fins attached to them. So I think that's a good strategy. Like this one doesn't have it one and this one doesn't. So we're safe on these, but I'm not going to get that one because it has a fin attached to it. So, all right. I think that's a good strategy for the future. Hey guys, guess what? I found Nemo. I think the aquatic update might be my favorite update ever in Minecraft. The things that they've added in this game will add so much fun new content and I'm absolutely loving it. And that's a question to you guys. What is your favorite Minecraft update? Right now, maybe because it's just fresh and the turtles are swimming by, that uh, I think this is my favorite update, but uh, I'd like to know what you guys think. Where are the cowfish? I really like the cowfish. I want to take one home with us, but we'll have to come back on a stream and get some cowfish. Uh, but let's board our temporary boat and head back to the Jolly Dog, which is on the other side of the continent. But I'm so glad I came out here. This is truly the first time I've ever seen a coral reef. Not even any really any videos or photos. So, man, this was a really fun experience. But uh, I got to head back, start making some dead palm trees. Hey, a turtle. Oh, my gosh. And that concludes our journey out to the coral reef, which was super fun. Hello, Scarf. You missed out on a great adventure. Someday I'll figure out how to get you out there, but there's a continent in the way. I also got a couple sea pickles, which are fun. Now I've got a decent amount of coral. That was very difficult to get, and I ran out of food, but also got some raw things on the way back. Poor Nemo and uh, some flowers so we can create some gray wool. And yeah, so I think that was fairly productive. So let's take the long journey back home. 
Home sweet home. It is good to be back. Now, I was thinking about my sea pickles here, and I want to put them down here, but I also don't want to light it up because I don't want to encourage people to travel into the secret cave if they see a light on the other end. But I think it might be kind of fun. Let's just put one right there. Oh, I broke my seagrass. And we can put another one right there. And I'm thinking two right there. Yeah, look at that. Bam. How about three? We get real crazy tonight. And we can do one more right there. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> Those look cool. I, I like that quite a bit. So we've got our dead brain coral block. Woo, that's spooky. So I need to think of what a stem would be for this build. I gotta think of what that is. I don't think I wanna do stone. I might actually just do some kind of wood, maybe like, I don't have dark wood, but I could do light wood. That would be spruce. I could try that one. We'll see. Let me uh, clean up my inventory, dump this all off, and uh, let's get these things built. Starting work on the palm tree here. I think we're got an interesting design. So what I want to do is I want to expand out the top and angle it downward. And by the way, guys, thank you so much for all the palm tree designs. Like I, I'm loving looking at Twitter right now. I have like tons of palm trees and it's amazing. You guys are way better at palm trees than I am. It's truly my arch enemy of trees. And uh, but I do like this design. Now, the huge downside to making this dead palm tree the way it is. I mean, it's it's orange. <laughs> It's orange and uh, I, I kind of think of acacia as my favorite log because it's just a really great color and texture But then the disadvantage is it's orange. It just doesn't fit, but I really do like um, The coral like I think that's fantastic. I I just don't know about this orange yet Like I just haven't come to terms with it Maybe you know we can always cover up the tops with something but the bottoms might be a little bit more difficult to achieve I just wish the acacia was gray all the way around, but you know, I get why it's orange, it fits the theme. But what I wanna do is potentially add an extra block up here maybe, um, and somehow expand the design of the palm. So if, let's just do a quick experiment. If it was like this, if there was an extra layer on either end like that, that right there could be a really cool palm tree design. So I might expand upon that a little bit and just kind of see where it takes us. But I do think that uh, that could be a nice design. Definitely the general concept of the coral, dead, making dead palm trees is good. So guys, you're creative, awesome, and thank you for the suggestion. And that's the design for the offset leaves. So these two pieces of coral, and then of course these two on this other side, where it's kind of offset from the main branch. Now, I think that design could look good with transparent leaves, how you can kind of see through them, it, it breaks it up a little bit. But with solid blocks, I don't think it looks super great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back off those pieces and change it up a little bit, but I think it's a good concept for the future to improve upon. And it looks like we had just enough coral to make three palm trees with one spare, just in case we lost one of the blocks on the way down. So let's take a look at the island now. So we did go with the acacia. I'm sorry, my character was freaking out there. So we did we go with the acacia. We got the dead coral up there, and I think that fits. I'm really, really pleased with the way this island has come out. If you have any ideas to cover up the orange, I'd be totally down for it, but I don't think anything else can compete with how awesome the acacia log is. So that is good. I'm very pleased with that. Eventually we'll get the fins on there. I think that'll add a lot if we have the fins along the edges and even on the ground here, maybe even the dead bushes or I think that can only attach the sand, but not because I, I look at this as thinking it's sand. So that's why I thought that. But yeah, I'm I'm really happy with this. So we need to turn our attention back to our other island, which we created. Excuse me, scarf. Move over. Move over, little fella. So let's turn our back one more time on that island and see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that's that's nice. I like that. That really is what I envisioned of having dead trees there. And I think that ties the whole place together. I'd like to actually have more, but of course we only have one block of coral left to our name. So let's head back to this island and clean it up a little more, get some palm trees going, and this place is almost done, at least structurally for an island. We got way more to do here. Welcome back, and I'm I'm happy. I'm really, really happy right now because we've got our dead palm trees to our left-hand side. We've got our living palm trees to the right-hand side, and today has just been the day and yesterday making this episode a day of, like, happiness. Like, I'm doing what I absolutely love in Minecraft is terraforming and creating these trees and structures and different things like that. And it's my absolute passion. And uh, today was a good day. Like I really enjoyed this design that we created. I think those palm trees are actually fairly decent. Like I, maybe we made one step closer to making better palm trees. We got a long ways to go, mind you. They're not great, but I think they're starting to 
yeah, they're starting to, to turn the uh, the tables and I think and that makes me super happy. Now, as for the island, we didn't get to the shipwreck because of hospitals, migraines and stuff. But we're going to get to that in the next episode. It's going to be awesome to have that shipwreck attached to this island. So this is Shipwreck Island. Like I said, it needs a better name. Help me come up with a more creative name. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with the way this looks. Uh, we need to work on the bottom section over there. And anything else for sure? I'm trying to think of what we need. Of course, you know, the Chanter and everything and the XP farm will be down below. But uh, and then over here. Oh, that's what I meant. It's the uh, little fins. When we get those attached to the sides of the blocks here, I think that's going to be really cool. But we don't have Silk Touch yet. And once we do, we're going to get those things attached to there. And I think that's going to look fantastic. And like I said, once again, the last episode, I really love hanging out with Cub and I love making the video. But some of that stuff's just stressful when you lose your things over and over again. And uh, it was nice to kind of take a relaxing episode and do what I absolutely love with my favorite peeps, which of course is you, the Scarians. And uh, yeah, so guys. Until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the videos are rating, oh, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe because you just may become scarred for life.